Hi, it's Alexis from Artists in Business, back with another video helping you turn your online art business into a success. Today, I'm going to sh talk to you about how to grow your Etsy shop with keywords in 2023. Keywords are essential to optimizing your Etsy shop and helping potential buyers find your products. So in this video, we'll discuss how to find relevant keywords for your shop title, descriptions, and tags on Etsy. But first, you should make sure you have your signature story clear so we know what your brand continuity and focus is, as well as your offers carefully chosen to showcase your best work combined with what your ideal audience wants and needs. The best way to establish that is going through an exercise called the Master Offer Exercise, which helps you make that determination. Click the link in our description below to get both our signature story guide and our art biz guidebook to help you set yourself up for success in finding the right offers to sell on Etsy and the right keywords to go along with them. So number one, start with your product. The first step in finding relevant keywords is to start with your product. What is it that you sell and what are its features? What makes it unique? Write down a list of descriptive words and phrases that describe your product. For example, if you sell handmade jewelry, your list might include words like sterling, silver, handcrafted, gemstone, and statement necklace. Number two, research your competition. Once you have a list of descriptive words, research your competition to see what keywords they are using. Look at the titles, descriptions, and tags of the top sellers in your categories. What words do they use to describe their products? Make a list of the keywords you find and use them as a starting point for your own shop. You don't need to copy their titles or descriptions, but use their keywords as inspiration for your own. Number three, use Etsy's search bar. Another way to find relevant keywords is to use Etsy's search bar. Type in a word or phrase related to your product and see what suggestions come up. These suggestions are based on popular searches on Etsy, so they can give you ideas for keywords to use in your own shop. For example, if you type in handmade necklace, you might see suggestions like boho necklace, beaded necklace, and personalized necklace. Number four, use keyword tools. There are several keyword tools available that can help you find relevant keywords for your Etsy shop. One popular tool is Google's Keyword Planner, which allows you to search for keywords and see how often they're searched for on Google. Another tool is Etsy Rank, which provides data on how well certain keywords perform on Etsy. This can help you choose keywords that are likely to result in more views and sales for your shop. Number five, focus on long tail keywords. When choosing keywords, it's important to focus on long tail keywords. These are phrases that are more specific and targeted than general keywords. For example, handmade sterling silver gemstone necklace is a long tail keyword that is more specific than necklace. Using long tail keywords can help you reach a more targeted audience and increase your chances of making a sale. Number six, use synonyms and related words. Don't be afraid to use synonyms and related words in your titles, descriptions, and your tags. For example, if you sell handmade soap, you might use words like natural, organic, and vegan in addition to soap. So using synonyms and related words can help you reach a wider audience and improve visibility. Number seven, keep your language simple. When choosing keywords, it's important to keep your language simple and straightforward. Don't use overly complex or technical language that might confuse potential buyers. Use language that is easy to understand and that accurately describes your product. This will help potential buyers find your shop and understand what it is you're selling. And number eight, use location-based keywords. If you sell products that are location-specific, such as artwork or jewelry inspired by a particular city or region, consider using location-based keywords. For example, if you sell artwork inspired by New York City, you might use keywords like New York City Skyline or Brooklyn Bridge. Using location-based keywords can help you reach a more targeted audience and improve your chances of making the sale. 
And number nine, use numbers and symbols. Using numbers and symbols in your titles, descriptions, and tags can also help improve your visibility on Etsy. For example, if you sell handmade candles, you might use keywords like 100% soy wax or something similar. So that brings us to the end of our Etsy keyword tutorial for 2023. What is one burning question or takeaway you have from this tutorial? Please share in the comments below so I can make sure to answer it for you and create more content that answers your questions. And to keep up to date with the tutorials I post, be sure to hit the subscribe button. When you subscribe, you help us reach you with the content you need most and you help other creatives and artists in the process.